Happy New Year! I can hear a chainsaw up in the woods. Uh, it's almost the New Year. I'm almost at the end of my two week break from work and my little challenge I set myself of, well today is my last run, my little challenge that I set myself of running six days out of seven for each of the two weeks. I normally run every other day so it's not a massive step up to run every day except one but if you are a runner that does it you know that it can be a little bit sore, a little bit challenging and things can break down. So how is it going? It's been super easy. Second week was easier than the first week. Uh, no niggles, just noodling along, getting on with it. I agree, my body has adapted super fast. And that was a challenge to see if uh, I can still adapt, to see if connective tissue break down um, and to kick on my fitness and my resilience. Uh, so, a success. And how do I feel? Because that was the other aim, wasn't it? Was to uh, see if I feel good by attempting a little challenge. And it wasn't a big challenge, like I didn't think I would not be able to do it. But often things get in the way. So how do I feel? Yeah, I feel really nice. I feel really good. And uh, today's run, when I got to my first choice, did you go left or did you go right? I went right and I'm doing the longer hillier route, which is even muddier than it normally is. But I like mud, mud is fun. <laughs> It has been very wet. The ground was already saturated, so all the trails become streams. Wales! It's good to keep hold of some of your childishness, unless you run the risk of taking yourself too seriously. When I'm running, all those negative thoughts that accumulate have a chance to get blown away and disappear. And when I'm running, it gives me a chance to collect my thoughts and develop ideas and plan. This is why I don't run with music. There's peace and quiet, this nothing but me in the woods and me moving through it is important to my brain sorting itself out clearing itself out and planning for the future um, typically I used to run every morning before teaching and I would <laughs> plan my teaching the details of what I was going to say I was going to fine tune it during my run So my Garmin records metrics. Every time you buy a new Garmin, you get more and more metrics, which is great. I love numbers. I love data. But one of the ones I keep an eye on is my uh, ground contact time balance. So the ground contact time, how long your foot is in contact with the ground before you move off. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And um, is that ground contact time even on your left side and your right side? I know it's amazing we can collect these sorts of data right um, because when one side starts to get tight when the muscles start to get a bit short when things start to break down you get a bit slower on that side so your balance shifts towards that side you know if I in fact most of the time when I'm running a lot when I'm training for ultra marathons I've usually got a shift to my right side or my left side and then I know but also through stretching that I need to re-lengthen the muscles on that side but no these two weeks I've had a perfect 50-50% even ground contact time, left-right balance the whole two weeks. I am pretty robust. Uh, for me, well, 
my low back tends to get a little bit sticky. It doesn't move as freely as it should. And your vertebral column, your pelvis, and your lower limbs are all linked together, right? And they all work together. Uh, it's, a, it's a chain. And when one of those bits isn't working as it should, that tends to throw everything off. <laughs> and then knock-on effects are making everything else worse. Anyway, but when I, when I run all day, or when I walk all day, my back is fine. Literally, and I know, because I've, I've done that, right? I've literally run for 14 hours and walked. The back is absolutely fine. It's only when uh, I sit down a lot <laughs> and I start to get back pain. I get upper back pain, thoracic back pain, which radiates to my jaw, which is interesting. Ah, so, um, it's inactivity that's often as much a problem as activity. There's no such thing as good posture. Um, you might have heard that sitting is the new smoking, but that's going to be a topic for a future video. I think probably a future vlog rather than an anatomy video. It's a new year, it's 2024. What are we going to do in 2024? Adventure. Let's go walking somewhere. We did that last year. Let's go to Norway. Let's go climbing. Don't know what we're going to do this year. The, the holiday we're having right now, this, uh, this kind of, it's like a midwinter holiday, isn't it? We just had the shortest day of the year at the end of December there. Um, We've done a couple of months of it getting darker and colder. We've got a couple more months of it still being very dark and cold. And then we start to get into spring and summer. So this marks that point halfway through the winter. And after this point, we can feel like we're moving out of winter. And spring and summer are bigger times for us because we do a lot of things outdoors, right? But if I get this holiday right, if I, because I've been doing a lot of sitting around doing nothing, I've played all the games, I've read all the comics, I've, I've had a really good break. It's not like travelling where you go away for two weeks and it's a bit busy. This is a lot of sitting around and doing nothing and seeing family. And if I get it right, at the end of it, I feel ready to go back to work. Tomorrow I go back to work and I'm looking forward to going back to work. That's a nice, that's a good thing to feel, isn't it? It's, it's because I need to be stimulated and challenged. It, uh, and as I'm getting older, I'm, I'm struggling to find those, those challenges that I naturally follow and I'm interested in and want to pursue and, and battle with for whatever reason. I guess I'm ticking things off uh, the longer I'm around, right? But I would like to get back to the mountains. I would like to do some of those longer mountain routes, go to those places that people don't really see, places that don't, people don't really get to, plus all of the other stuff that we do. But we'll see, we'll make it up as we go along. But in terms of work, I like what I do. I'm looking forward to getting back, seeing the students, doing the things. The weather has been horrific, so it might be different if the weather was amazing and I'd been out climbing every day. I probably wouldn't want to go back to work. But I do need the challenge and stimulation of work. And of course, I like creating things, and this is a big part of that. This is why I do this. Um, this is why I make videos, and the feedback I get makes it feel worthwhile, so I keep, I keep doing it. 2024, I don't make New Year's resolutions because I don't wait until one point in the year to change something in my life that needs changing. I just get on and change it. But 2024, <laughs> more of the same. Um, and also, as I'm getting older, I think it's more helping other people along their paths than finding my own path and my own way along that path because I think I found my place in the world now so it's now my job to help other people find their places in the world right so good luck in 2024 I hope whatever path you're on you work your way along it a bit further I hope everything goes well good luck to you um, I would say that 
Often things don't go as you expect, don't go perfectly. I'm speaking as a personal tutor and a teacher and I see all these things. Um, you might have that plan out in front of you, but if something goes wrong in 2024, try and have a backup plan in your back pocket and maybe a backup to the backup plan in the other pocket and we'll find a way, we'll get there. Don't worry, we'll sort it out, we'll get there. But maybe it'll just all go to plan and it'll be a great 2024, fingers crossed.